Users that stake their Cardano will be rewarded with newly minted ADA for their efforts in securing the blockchain. But eventually, one day, the maximum supply for Cardano will be reached. That is 45 billion Cardano. And when that time arrives, there will be no more newly minted Cardano to reward those that are staking and securing the blockchain. So when that time comes, what will happen to Cardano when the maximum supply is reached? Welcome aboard the Bitcoin Express. My name is Chase. Let's get to it. Currently, staking Cardano is pretty lucrative. Users can receive about 5% APR on their ADA. And Cardano started with 31 billion ADA in circulation, with 14 billion ADA left to use for monetary expansion. And currently, as I make this video, the circulating supply for Cardano is 32 billion. And like we mentioned in the intro, eventually, we will get to a point where we have a maximum supply. There is no more Cardano left to be minted. And over time, the rewards coming from minted or newly minted Cardano will decay. They will become lower and then eventually they will vanish. And when that time comes, what will incentivize those to continue to stay Cardano and secure the network? And the answer is transaction fees. And actually today, as I make this video, rewards are from transaction fees and newly minted Cardano. But for now, the transaction fees are only a small percentage of the rewards because we are still waiting for Cardano smart contracts and for its ecosystem to thrive. Right now, there is nothing, but hopefully there will be smart contracts by the end of the summer. And you might be asking, well, when will this happen, right? When will we actually reach the maximum supply of Cardano? And the answer is in over 100 years from now. And this is a similar question that is asked about Bitcoin. Eventually, by 2140, there will be no more newly mined Bitcoin. So how will Bitcoin sur survive? The idea is through transaction fees. So when we look at Cardano, how would transaction fees support the system? And the reason is, if Cardano lives up to its hype, there will be a lot of network activity and many transactions taking place. And the fees alone will be able to support those that stake their Cardano. And it will get to a point where the rewards from transaction fees are more than the rewards that would have been received from newly minted Cardano. So we're not gonna be alive when this happens, right? When Bitcoin, for example, or Cardano actually reaches its maximum supply. But what about the short term? Should we be concerned about the short term? And I'm going to tell you the selfish truth about human nature. But before I do that, I do want to thank iTrust Capital, who is today's video sponsor. They are a crypto retirement account, and I personally use them myself. They offer a crypto Roth IRA, and all profits in the account are tax-free as long as it is held in the account until after the age 59 and a half. And they have Cardano along with many other cryptocurrencies as well. And what's great about a Roth IRA is that you can trade inside of it tax-free. Let's say you buy a cryptocurrency and maybe it isn't here in 10 or 20 years. You can trade within it and it is not a taxable event because if you trade crypto for crypto outside of a Roth IRA, it is a taxable event and they keep adding new coins coming soon. Solana, Engine, Curve, Basic Attention Token and Algorand. And a big worry about a crypto Roth IRA is what if you need the money before 59 and a half? The good news is that you're able to take out the initial contributions penalty free. And also there are even times where you can take out the profits penalty free before 59 and a half. For example, first time home purchase, certain education expenses and certain medical expenses as well. And if you wanna get started with iTrust Capital, I do have a link down below and you'll get your first month free. If you have any questions, feel free to message me on Instagram or Twitter and I will answer your questions. Now, coming back to Cardano and Bitcoin as well, we know that these scenarios of running out of newly minted or newly mined coins won't happen in our lifetime. It will happen in over a hundred years from now. But even if we look at the crypto ecosystem and say the whole thing is going to self-destruct in 20 years, right? There's gonna be no more new coins. There's gonna be no more transaction fees. In the short term, it will not stop people from participating in this ecosystem. And what I'm about to tell you is such an important concept. Please pay attention. 
Prior to blockchain and decentralization, systems had to run on trust. If you had evil actors in a system, it won't work. And then Bitcoin came along with Satoshi Nakamoto and he designed a system that relies on the very thing that can ruin it, which is human greed. Human greed is the fuel of a decentralized blockchain or decentralized cryptocurrency. The system is set up so that evil actors are incentivized to participate fairly. They will be punished if they don't. And also if they're really in it for the money, for the greed, they will make more money by participating fairly rather than being an evil participant. So when we look at, let's say in this case, Cardano, even if we were to be told that we know for a fact that the transaction fees will not support Cardano stakers in the future, it doesn't matter in the short term. In the short term, it is irrelevant because as I've stated, or as we know, we are greedy. And if you're able to make money today with Cardano, or you're able to make money today with Bitcoin, it will continue to incentivize people to use the system. So in the short term, is this question about Cardano's maximum supply a problem? No. In the long term, though, it is a problem that we need to address. But the hope is when smart contracts arrive, there is high network activity, many apps on Cardano, and the transaction fees are enough to continue to incentivize stakers to secure the system. And some Cardano news, maybe you heard about this, Cardano has joined Grayscale's digital large cap fund as the third biggest component. And to clarify, it is not their third biggest trust, but the third largest component of the digital large cap fund. And if we break it down even further, it is in order. Bitcoin, then Ethereum, and then Cardano. But when Cardano smart contracts are here, if they are successful, we will see these types of numbers continue to grow. And if you want more detail about what's going on currently with Cardano's Alonzo testnet, and also when we can expect to see the ecosystem and apps coming to the Cardano ecosystem, go ahead and watch this video link right above. I also will leave a link for it in the description below. And of course, don't forget to leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.